Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder again with another Reddit story for you. This one is, am I the astronaut for taking my daughter out to eat? So I, 39 male, have a 16 female daughter from a previous marriage. For context, I met my now wife, 37, when my daughter was 10, and she had a son, 7 male, when we met. Our relationship was great, and our connection was really present throughout our relationship. Five months into our relationship, I introduced her to my ex, 35 female, and my daughter. My ex and wife were cordial, and my daughter warmed up to her quickly. From what I know, they had a good relationship. My daughter grew up sort of a picky eater. For example, she won't eat things like oatmeal, tomatoes, garlic, mushrooms, barbecue, anything salty or sour, etc. She loves spicy food, sweets, and all that, and you could not trick her into eating anything she didn't like. When she was 13, I put one garlic clove in the melted butter I was using to make her grilled cheese. I don't know how, but she could taste it and knew for a fact the taste wasn't that strong. Her taste buds slash sense of taste amazed me. Oh, she ignored me for a whole week and didn't eat anything I cooked for her. I never tried anything like that again. I work a five to eight shift, but yesterday I got off around nine because my group and I wanted to hurry and finish our part of a work project we had. When I got home, my wife had already prepared dinner and left my plate in the oven. I heated my food and stood at the island and chatted with my wife, who was with our son in the living room. As I was eating, I realized that my wife had cooked garlic stir-fried rice, barbecue chicken, and a vegetable salad consisting of corn, tomatoes, mushrooms, and spinach. I stopped chatting with my wife and just observed my plate for a good five minutes. My wife asked what was wrong and if I disliked the food. Finally, after an eternity, I asked what my daughter had eaten because everything she cooked was all foods my daughter disliked. She was quiet for a few moments before finally saying that my daughter had not eaten since lunch. Needless to say, I was upset. I asked her why she didn't switch up the meal to accommodate my daughter's palate. She got really defensive and started saying my daughter was being dramatic and it was just food so she could still eat if she was hungry. We argued and I reminded her that it wasn't that simple for a picky eater like my daughter. After a while of going back and forth, I decided to end the conversation by ignoring my wife. I felt that my daughter's wishes were discarded. I took my daughter out to eat. I also brought her some sweets and we bonded and talked a lot. I discovered my wife had been purposefully cooking food my daughter doesn't like. Shocker. I think we could all see that was happening. My daughter has never been one to complain, so she has been using money from her paycheck and she wasn't going to eat this particular night because she had no intention of pulling money out of her account savings. We got home around midnight and my wife was upset that I took my daughter out instead of convincing her to eat her cooking. Me and my wife are going to have a long chat when I'm off work. There are a couple of updates for this one, but this is horse shit. We've talked about this several times before, but a lot of times, especially kids when they're growing up, if they develop an aversion to specific things, like granularly specific things, like I have a strong dislike for barbecue, I have a strong dislike for garlic, a lot of those things can turn into or can be signals that they have some kind of allergic aversion to it. It's not just I don't like it. A lot of times those dislikes for kids end up being things that they actually have an allergy reaction to. So she's got things that she specifically doesn't like and she's narrowed down those things. Easy enough to avoid. There's picky eating and then there's these things I just don't do. The fact that stepmom here has been intentionally cooking meals that only consist of those things is a terrible, terrible terrible thing to do. In my opinion, this is an ask on one offense for stepmom. This is straight up horse shit. If she wanted to break her out of picky eating, that would have been a conversation that she had with her husband, the girl's dad. Instead, she went behind his back, did this specifically made up of all the things that she doesn't like, which is a weird combination, right? It's not like, oh, this meal just happened to consist of all these things. No, this is I specifically made everything you don't like to force you to eat it because I'm an evil stepmother. Chose to be the villain. <laughs> what the f*** is wrong with you? Like, why? Why? This is beyond... Okay. Again, if this were innocent and she was truly trying to broaden her horizons, it wouldn't have been everything she doesn't like in one meal, and it would have been a communication that she had with her dad. It wasn't. She did this behind his back, didn't communicate it, and put it all into one. This is her just being shit to be shit. Update number one. I got home about an hour ago and was reading the comments 
for about 15 minutes. I'll be answering questions at the end of this post. The talk with my wife went okay-ish. I asked her what was going on. My wife was hesitant as she didn't want to have this talk at all, but finally she said she hates cooking for my daughter. She said that it was too much to go out of her way to constantly go out of her way to accommodate her and how annoying it was to always make sure the food is cooked to a certain texture and seasoned to my daughter's liking. She then revealed that she stopped cooking food the way my daughter liked it because our son didn't like it. She then proceeded to say that my daughter just needs to grow up as it was only food and wouldn't kill her and how her being picky was just too draining. I asked why she didn't have a sit down with our kids to make some sort of compromise and she said her son's needs came before my daughter's. Again, the fact that this was all done behind OP's back tells you everything you need to know. She also revealed that she had straight up stopped buying more than half of my daughter's personalized grocery list because it was a waste of money and that our son needed the snacks that he wanted. I was dumbfounded and asked her if she was going to let my daughter go hungry, to which she responded by saying all she has to do is eat the food she cooked. I asked her what was draining about putting one or two pieces of plain chicken aside. She said that she said that I wouldn't get it because I didn't cook for my daughter like she did which was true. I'm at work from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. and I only cook dinner on weekends, holidays, and holiday breaks. She apologized to me but suggested that I should convince my daughter to eat the food she doesn't like because it would make everyone's life easier. I then asked her if she would think the same thing if it was our son and she didn't respond, which was answer enough. Yep. I don't know what to do now. If she's willing to let my daughter go hungry, how else would she be willing to neglect my daughter? What should I do now? Q&A, my daughter is in no way overweight and she doesn't eat only junk food for vegetables. She eats carrots, lettuce, corn, asparagus, and cucumbers. For fruit, she eats watermelon, dragon fruit, apples, and mangoes. My daughter can, in fact, cook. The only reason she did not is because her fall break is coming up and my wife didn't buy her entire grocery list, so she saved it. Which is honestly crazy because no kid should have to worry about how much food they can eat when they're hungry. My daughter told her bio mom and she is upset and suggesting that my daughter go, goes to live with her. My daughter chooses who she spends the year with herself and if she wants to go, I won't stop her because I don't want my daughter in a house she's being neglected in. Also, I do not in any way force my wife to cook for my daughter. In fact, she insists on cooking for her and if she came to me and said she didn't want to cook for my daughter, I would understand and wake up early to fix her food for the day or switch my schedule around. My wife goes on one grocery run for the entire month, so if she isn't getting everything on my daughter's grocery list, of course my daughter's meals will be limited. I talked with my daughter, and she isn't mad at my wife at all and is even pushing for me to forgive her. It's frustrating because my 16-year-old daughter is trying to fix our marriage while my wife basically said she could care less about my daughter. My daughter is also willing to go grocery shopping with my wife and pay for her own food so there isn't any more conflict. Some people were saying she might have Afrid disorder, and I'm definitely going to look into it. Any advice on what course of action I should take with my wife? On one hand, I love her. On the other, I can fathom the idea of being with someone. On the other, I can't fathom the idea of being with someone who is willing to neglect my daughter. We've got a couple more updates, but this isn't getting any better. The fact that, okay, daughter daughter's character and innocence has been proven here by her response to the situation she's willing to do things to help make her preferences easier that is not this is not her just being a spoiled little shit this is this is her having a true aversion to some things she's willing to pay for her own food she's willing to go she's pushing for stepmom to be forgiven here even though stepmom is evil <sighs> Trust is broken, CJ. Agree with that. Talk about favoritism, La La Luna. Uh, be Black Rose, you'd leave the woman. Anyone who's willing to do this to a child is horrible. Exactly. Again, the whole tipping point for all of this is that if she wanted to accomplish these things, she needed to have a conversation with OP, the girl's father. The fact that she did all of this behind his back is all you need to know. Update number two. I'm going to clarify some things and then answer the most asked questions. Do I intend to stay with my wife? No, I've already decided on divorce. Way to go, dad. Why do I refer to my wife's son as our son and my daughter as my daughter? 
My daughter doesn't call my wife mom, she calls her by her name, which makes sense because her mom is still very involved in her life. Naturally, I'd refer to my daughter as my daughter. As for my ex's son, I've known him since he was seven and he didn't have any father figure in his life. He calls me dad, I treat him like my own. I thought it would be easier to understand throughout the story. Why won't my daughter just cook her own food? Well, if you read the story thoroughly, y'all would see where I said that my wife admitted to not buying most of my daughter's grocery list. This, of course, limits the food my daughter can cook and eat herself. She believes that it's a waste of money and should be used on snacks her son prefers and extra food. You asked, how bad is my daughter's relationship with her bio mom? My daughter and her bio mom's relationship is very good. She's never been neglectful towards her from what I know of. She lived with her bio mom from ages 12 to 15. I think she's keen on staying with me to try a different arrangement and get a break from her bio mom as I know she can be a little crazy, and I mean that in a good way. Why doesn't my daughter eat the food my wife makes instead of throwing a fit? It's not as simple as just eating the food. She gets physically ill. Seriously, we try every now and then to expand her palate, no luck, and she will literally gag and vomit the food. Am I going to let her pay for her own groceries? Absolutely not. A child shouldn't have to worry about making sure they can eat no matter what age they are. That's the parent job. How is my wife only going grocery shopping once for a whole month? On the first of every month, my wife goes grocery shopping with our budget being 1K to 1.5K. My work schedule, 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., off on weekends and holidays. Why am I letting my daughter leave instead of my wife? My daughter has a choice to stay with me or her mother. She's choosing to stay with me. My wife will be the one leaving once the divorce is finalized. Have I told my wife or the kids that I've decided on divorce? No, not tonight. I will be having a sit down with both of my kids separately and one with everyone together. I do teach my daughter how to manage her money. My daughter is a junior, so she is usually busy with a lot. She also plays soccer, volleyball, and is on the student council at her school. She shouldn't have to worry about having a meal to eat when she gets home. Not saying she is too young to go grocery shopping herself, but you get the point. My daughter isn't upset with my wife. She sympathizes with her because she knows it's difficult to accommodate someone with her taste palate. She's still insisting that I give my wife another chance, which is heartbreaking because my wife openly admitted to putting her own son's needs before my daughter's, which I'm not mad at. Protect yours, right? But I still don't play favorites with her son and my daughter. If our roles were reversed, I'd bend over backwards to accommodate him. People are also confused about how I didn't notice before. My wife always told me that she made a separate meal for my daughter, which I believed. I mean, I had no reason not to. And my daughter is a huge people pleaser, so of course she didn't say anything, probably because she was scared to drive a bridge between me and my wife. People are saying that my wife's neglect towards our daughter is far more serious, so I'm going to put my daughter in therapy because I know she won't just come out and say what other issues her and my wife have been having. My daughter isn't literally going hungry. She has a job. She still shouldn't be spending money on takeout every night. Me not forcing her to eat what she can't keep down isn't me spoiling her, and for the people saying that she should just suck it up need to seek help. I feel extremely guilty as a parent for not seeing my daughter was being neglected sooner and I hope my relationship with her can be fixed. I'm also going to look into all the conditions y'all are saying my daughter might have. Feel free to ask in the comments if you're still confused. Well, we called it. It's some kind of serious aversion. It's not a piggy eating. It is my body rejects this thing. And a lot of times with little kids, if it's a I don't like it, it can turn into that. I say that, but Navy Thunder right now, 50% of the things you try to put in front of her. She says, I don't like it. So eh. if it's repeated over a long period of time, though, I think it's there's a high chance of it being an allergic thing. OK, final update here. Sorry it took so long to get back to everyone. I've been reading all of the comments for a while now and just want to say thank you for all of the support. First, I want to address the comments saying that I'm divorcing my wife because of a dietary issue that needs to wake up. The issue runs far deeper. My wife purposely neglected to buy my daughter's grocery list after insisting every time to do the grocery and food organizing on her own. She purposely neglected my daughter and disrespected her. There's literally no telling what else she is willing to do to my daughter and already has. Therefore, I no longer trust her. I'm honestly disappointed in my wife. Just to clarify, my daughter isn't spoiled. She works for half of the things that she owns. She pays for her own school books and her own phone bills by her choice. She's also a straight AB student. She literally is one of the biggest people pleasers you will ever meet. She's also a very calm natured person and doesn't hash out her problems by fighting and yelling. She's very mature. I talked with my daughter first and told her I was divorcing my wife. She was shocked and kept persisting that I give her another chance and that she isn't in any way upset. I told her that I understand, but I was upset and I assured her that this wasn't her fault and I just wanted the best for her. 
She got very defensive and said, you need to be worried about your own happiness. I'm leaving for the military or college in a few years, and you're going to be an old man with no one there for you. I laughed and said that I could be 130 and still make the best out of being alone. After that, we laughed, we cried, she apologized, and we comforted each other. Next, it was time to talk to my son. He looked so taken aback, then started full on crying. I comforted him, telling him that it wasn't his fault and continuously apologizing to him. After he calmed down, I explained the entire situation to him. He looked embarrassed and tired, and he started apologizing for his mother's actions. After a while, he cleared his throat and said, So does this mean that you won't be my dad anymore? I was heartbroken by that sentence and started shedding a few tears. I told him that he would always be a son and that I would still financially support him even if he cut contact with me. He cried and assured me that he wanted me as a dad and expressed that he knew that his mother wouldn't let me see him. I assured him and comforted him. About two hours later, it was finally time to break the news to my wife. I had both kids present and most of you all suggested getting evidence, so my phone was in my pocket so I could record the entire conversation. I started the conversation off by asking what she had against my daughter. She was dead silent before I finally spoke up again, saying, I'm divorcing you, so you should start looking for a lawyer. I asked her to explain why she was neglecting and disrespecting my child. At this point, she was crying but not making any sound. My daughter spoke up and suggested that we have this conversation later. I argued against the idea with my daughter until my wife spoke up and said that she did it because my daughter is the spitting image of her mother, my ex. And villain, man. I'm torturing you because of what you look like, which you didn't choose, and I shouldn't have any feelings about at all. Obviously, me and my kids and I were confused about what her mom had to do with anything. I asked her to explain further, and she started crying. I could barely understand, but apparently I was cheating on her with my ex, not true. She said I would flirt with her on the phone while laying right next to her, also not true. Who in their right mind would even do such a thing? She said that the relationship I have with my ex isn't normal. I'll explain our relationship thoroughly in the comments. And no, I do not in any way condone cheating, and I haven't cheated on my wife once. After saying that our relationship was normal, she started berating my ex. Now, like I said before, my daughter is naturally a laid back and calm person, but she does not condone any type of disrespect towards her mother. She gave my wife a verbal assault so foul Mike Tyson wouldn't recover from it before stomping off to her room. If you're wondering if I stepped in, the answer is no. I'm not sorry either. I wouldn't repeat what she said here because I don't want anybody attacking my daughter. The conversation basically ended there. I went upstairs to calm down my daughter and my son stayed downstairs to console his mother. I'll be taking my wife to court for visitation rights with my son. I'll also tell you all the things my wife said in the comments to respect Reddit 3000 word limits. I don't know what what the story was with with the exes, what the relationship is there. It doesn't matter. It does not matter one bit you do not take that out on a child this woman is so vile that she would be willing to do this to a girl because she looks like her mom and low-key torture her for who knows how long and who knows what else she's been doing to her because she looks like her mom i don't agree with having the conversation with with his wife soon to be ex-wife with the kids there for the first time. The first time he's telling her that he's divorcing her with the kids there. I I do not like that. Do not like that, Sam I am. But I think there is some benefit to them all knowing the truth. What were the ages of these kids again? I also don't know about having the conversation with the kids before having the conversation with wife. I don't know. I don't know if his approach was okay for those things, but it doesn't matter because this woman is absolutely evil and vile. And what she did is in no way, shape or form. Okay. And probably illegal i'm concerned for the seven-year-old now because if op goes goes for visitation rights with him the fact that the seven-year-old would have any kind of contact with him what now that's cause for her to do some shit against him i don't for what she did to a child she could very well lose rights to her own child and this boy can end up living with op She was willing to force a girl to eat things that she was clearly allergic to, her body rejected, as some kind of Gypsy Rose freaking bullshit. It's She shouldn't have children in her home, period. Shouldn't. This is evil. This is 100% 100 unacceptable. This woman does not get to have children in her home at all. This woman does not get to have happiness in life at all. 